what's going on youtube jay here from maji and jay today finally i got for you here the samsung galaxy s20 ultra replica and this is the first that i get in my hands unfortunately this was delayed uh I would say about two weeks and a half approximately through DHL just because of the current situation that we have um, all around the world. And you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. It has to do with the coronavirus. As a matter of fact, I ordered the real one on Amazon with the Prime service and it has been delayed as well. So that's a little bit of a disappointment. I couldn't hold this any longer. I had to show you guys. As a matter of fact, it is currently sealed. And like many people out there, I get anxious. I want to open it and know exactly what's inside. So anyways, here in the back side, it is giving us, as always, the specifications as if it was the real deal. Uh, we know that the original comes with a 5.9 inch uh, display and it has the Snapdragon A65. And also they have the global version, which has the Exynos 990. This is just going to carry the MTK 65A0 as always. And for the GPU, it's going to be the Mali 400 or the 450, I believe. So it is nothing to be impressed about. The main thing about this, I guess, is that a lot of people, you know, in the black market, they tried to, I guess, resell it as the real deal. But I think this one, I think, I'm not 100% certain, but I think that it was released before. I'm not sure because the box, as we can tell, it is a one-to-one. -one. Uh, but I think that the actual phone inside, it is not a perfect one, meaning the screen is a little bit smaller, like we have seen in the past. But the box does look pretty good. I like the printing here on the front side. And uh, you can feel, you know, that little bump for the S20 logo here. Towards the bottom, it says S20 Ultra with the 5G. And on this side, it says Samsung Galaxy S20. But again, the quality of the printing is actually quite impressive. And uh, on the back, like I mentioned before, we just had the fake specification. Towards the bottom, it says here, made in Vietnam. And there we can see the model. So I'm assuming this one is maybe copying the international uh, version of the Galaxy S20 uh, Ultra. So removing this, inside we have that typical box with the Samsung logo. And I think this one flips here from the side. And I can already see the phone. Wow, this is very cool. And you know what, guys? No, I'm actually maybe not correct. But I think this one has less bezels. And yes, I think I'm actually correct. So uh, from what I can see in the glare, I think this one is actually one of the latest versions. I don't see any, um, you know, any indication that the screen has big uh, bezels around it. Like, uh, like we have seen on other replicas before. On the back side here, check this out. There is a screen protector covering the lens. But wow, that looks nice. Wow, my goodness, guys. It does look very, very good in the sense that the lens looks to be like a one-to-one. -one. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. But right there, we have the uh, 100 times zoom. It is imitating to have the 108 uh, megapixel sensor with the other four lenses as well. So this is very, very good. Towards the bottom here, we have the Samsung logo. On the right side, we have the volume rockers up and down with the power key. Uh, towards the bottom here, we're gonna be seeing the USB uh, Type-C port together with the loudspeaker and the main microphone. On the left hand side, we have absolutely nothing. It is plain. On the top, we have the uh, SIM tray. And this one is gonna be a single SIM. And you have the option to upgrade the memory as well, which is really nice. So there we have it for the phone itself. And in here, we have a little divider. Let's see what else we have. We have the manuals. Now, as you guys can tell, this is kind of a, you know, sloppy in the sense that they didn't make it, you know, to where it covers the whole box like it usually is. So, yeah, this is a good way to tell, you know, judging by the box that you could be buying a fake one. But let's go ahead and check out here the accessories. And uh, this one seems okay. You have the USB Type-C cable right here. We have the AKG imitation in which they look kind of cool too. I don't know if you guys can see that. They even have a QR code right there. That's kind of nice. We have the charger. 
okay also imitating the real one but this feels very light and it doesn't support fast charging you should already know that and uh, inside of the box here we have nothing else that's it for the accessories nice and simple uh, and we do have a sim ejector tool right here let's go ahead and pop it out I'm just curious to see that uh, uh, SIM card uh, tray and it actually pops very nicely and uh, here we have it and look at that it had a well wow, that's kind of weird I think this is from testing it had a SIM card from China check that out let me see if I can make this focus a little better but yeah it had a SIM card from China nice maybe it has service maybe I get free service with it too so anyways here we have it for the uh, SIM tray you can see that you can also upgrade the memory just like with the real one which is nice and now it is time to go ahead and see if this thing has any juice which I'm hoping that it does sometimes they come drained doubt and I think that's gonna be the case here alrighty guys so now I went ahead and connected here the Samsung Galaxy S20 fake to the uh, little power bank that I have here sitting on my desk and when I press the button, it's gonna give me here the same battery percentage uh, look as the original Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. That's very, very cool. So now let's go ahead and get it started and see if we can actually see something here. Um, I've been waiting now for a couple of minutes, so I think now it's going to boot up. Let's give it a second. And yes, I can see that this one has more screen guys and that's very very exciting it has just a small chin here as you can tell at the very bottom and on the very top it is almost bezel-less so again very close to the real one not a hundred percent so I would say that maybe this one has a true 6.7 inch out of 6.9 but let me tell you guys that is scary close so again hopefully we can get it started and check this out the quality of the display looks very, very good in my opinion. I don't know if you guys can see that. So uh, it came already set up. We know that, of course, the original Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra is going to prompt you to all the uh, setup process and whatnot. So this one already, um, you know, pre-set up for you. But wow, I am super impressed, guys, with the quality of the display. Check this out. Look at the bezels. I mean. This is giving me chills as I am completing the video. And you guys know me, when I get excited, it's because there's good news going on here. So again, this is a very close replica. We have on the side here, uh, People Edge, we have Apps Edge. So I don't know how close this is to the real Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra with UI, uh, or One UI 2 that they're carrying. So let's go here into settings. And the next thing I'm gonna check here is going to be the software um, version of this so it is claiming to have Android 10 let's see if that's correct and no this is not Android 10 as you guys can tell so Elise is mimicking it and let me tell you here from settings everything looks so damn real so it's giving me um, as if uh, this was a dual SIM device maybe it is but in reality we're gonna have only one SIM card to install on there uh, we can see here the little punch hole for the front facing camera but again check the edges out I know and again I'm going to be clear with you guys this is not a one-to-one -one, but it is the closest that I've seen to a one-to-one -one, and you guys can't deny it including here the rear facing camera look how they were able to uh, implement the 10x on there and the camera lenses they do look very very close so just check that out. They have put a lot of attention into this particular replica, in my opinion, guys. Uh, so here we have settings again. Um, so everything seems to be running so-so in the sense that it's not as smooth as the real one. You can see some choppiness on there. Um, that is suspected with the MTK65A0. It is not a powerhouse. So let's try to go here into settings and connect here to the Wi-Fi and see if it's... Uh, working properly so uh, let's go ahead and check out here um, my networks and I don't think this is going to support uh, 5 gigahertz and unfortunately it doesn't as you guys can see uh, my Wi-Fi name here is good try 
uh, let's go ahead and connect to it and uh, and see if it's working at least somewhat well and there we go it is obtaining IP address and in no time we are connected here so that was kind of fast let's try to add the weather let's try to enter my city let's say West Palm Beach and let's see if that works and uh, let's see search and yes we do have West Palm Beach on there that's very cool and now we just see here the yep yeah, there we go we have the weather in Celsius very cool the time everything seems to be working well and I'm still impressed I mean I wish I could show you this through the camera the camera is not gonna really do its job showing you the quality of the freaking display guys excuse my language it's just that I'm very excited this thing is at least 1080p quality so it comes already with all the Google apps like we have YouTube on here Google Gmail whatnot uh, let's go ahead and try to open let's say YouTube I think it's gonna prompt me to um, log in and that's okay or actually it was already somewhat set up I'm pretty sure that this doesn't have um, a Gmail account set up let me try here going to uh, nope there we go it's asking me to sign in but let, let's go ahead and try here uh, to play a video and see uh, how's the quality of the uh, speaker so anyways I don't think that this has stereo speakers unfortunately I think it's just gonna be the speaker at the bottom side but let's go ahead and listen to it and at the same time I'm gonna try to set up the quality here and see how it sounds there we go well I gotta tell you it is not loud at all here from Maji and Jay. Today what I got here for you is well a phone that resembles a lot to the iPhone and I will say this is like a mini clone of the iPhone 10x or the 10x Max. It is very similar in terms of design at least on the back side. At least here from YouTube's application we can tell that this is a true 720p display. That's the Max that I was able to go to and uh, let me tell you for a replica that is actually quite impressive. Normally they have a maybe a 360p display I mean it is usually a very poor resolution but uh, again guys I'm quite impressed it has somewhat of a curve I think it's just a glass trick I don't know if you guys can see that but it does have a little bit of a curve but I'm still impressed on how they were able to make it almost bezel-less all the way around and this is my first replica ever here in my channel guys so uh, you know at least we know that certain things uh, do work. Let's go ahead and open gallery. Let's see how that looks Yes, somewhat similar. Let's go to the galaxy store. Check that out It even has the same logos and whatnot. Let's click on allow allow and uh, Yes guys very very similar if you ask me so let's say I agree and Galaxy store is coming up I just want to know if it's uh, a real one it says a new version of it is uh, available and I didn't update to it so let's click on it again and hopefully it'll let me in there we go so yes guys we have uh, somewhat of a real app here and here we had the Bixby stuff by swiping to the very left so again that has been copied also check this out if I swipe up like on the original Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra it takes me to the app drawer and then from here I can check the apps now it is not a hundred percent you know smooth even though you know we don't have any applications or anything it is still a little bit slow but that has to do because of that processor but let me tell you guys it is a very very close one um, let's go to the phone app here let's check the dialer yes everything is working uh, let's try the IMEI let's see how it displays here look at that even that they mimic to where when you entered you know that that code it gives you the barcodes and everything before it was just the IMEI like on other Android devices uh, let's go ahead and pretend here that we're going to uh, turn it off 
and let's see yep same thing once again it almost feels guys like I have the original in my hands right now and that's very very scary this is actually very cool that's kind of scary cool um, but yeah I mean let me know down below what you guys think about this particular replica uh, let's go ahead and check here the um, the notifications look at the toggles this time they made it look even more like a one-to-one -one, guys check that out it is mimicking to have NFC I'm pretty sure that's fake but at least we have the toggle on there just to make you believe uh, we got mobile data uh, you know Bluetooth and everything seems to be working oh and by the way before we leave let's go ahead and check here the cameras so this is the 8 megapixel sensor camera and again it is only one sensor that we have let's go into full mode and that's what full mode looks like it is a little bit choppy I would say that maybe this is not the best camera for recording let's go here into video mode and uh, yeah I mean I'm gonna stop the video right there but yeah it's just maybe the frame rate is really low you try here the front facing camera there we go what's up YouTube thank you so much for watching all right so there you have it for the front facing camera not bad but nothing to really you know brag about it's not like the original Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra that's for sure so once again with this being said guys thank you so much for watching let me know if there's anything else that you want me to provide on a separate video uh, please subscribe comment and share as much as you can it helps my channel very much you guys mean everything to me and really guys when you go out there please stay safe try to stay at your homes as much as you can uh, wash your hands wear a mask wear gloves and just stay safe I want all of you the people who are subscribed to me and the future subscribers to be safe everybody guys I wish you the best please again stay safe and I'll see you on my next one